Welcome aboard the channel today. I know there are many options for you to see and I'm glad you're here with me. It was in a previous video, I said I was going to do a review on the new tires I was switching to and this is that video. I will tell you at the beginning, the tires we're going to be looking at are not a matched brand name set. So is it wrong to run different brand name tires on front and back? No, of course not. Many people do this all the time for various reasons. I have been running the old faithful Maxxis DHF in front with the old style version WTB Trail Boss. They worked well together, but the DHF has been getting these pinholes in the sidewalls and the orange seal has been sealing them off. Now the WTB Trail Boss is the old Trail Boss, so the traction knobs are much tighter as you're going to see. Both of these right now have been chewed up pretty good riding in Colorado terrain. So as I began, I will say I'm not endorsed by WTB or Maxxis tires, nor do they approve of what I will say I am just a customer. So I'm going to begin with the rear tire. This is the new WTB Trail Boss in 2.4 version in a 29er tire. Compared to the old Trail Boss, You'll notice that the side knobs, they're a little bit taller and they're staggered to give more support when cornering over the old style tire. Then the center knobs, they're spaced out wider for improved braking traction performance. Both center knobs and outer side knobs are offset to allow for a continued traction and bite going from an upright position to the turn position. For me, I weigh about 220 pounds and I want that braking traction going downhill. For a rear tire, I considered rolling resistance, durability, and weight. I wanted durability so the sidewalls would not be tearing from sharp rocks or puncture from objects on the trail. Usually, very light trail tires, approximately, I don't know, about 750 grams, they could tear pretty quickly. Each tire company describes their offerings in compounds. With WTB, the light high grip, it's a soft, sticky rubber wrapped onto a gram saving casing. This basically is their lighter tire. Next they have what's called the light fast rolling. This, the one I have here, it's designed to be a fast rolling tire with a sticky compound as well but more trail worthy as it includes the slash guard. This is basically a nylon insert throughout the entire sidewall. It's supposed to provide protection without the weight penalty. Next, WTB has the tough slash fast rolling tire. This tire has a more durable rubber that is not so much sticky as it is meant for long wear ability. This one, was tested in the Enduro World Series, so it is made to take a lot of abuse. Last is their TCS Tough High Grip Tire. This is also an Enduro tire with more stickier rubber, but with a thicker casing for Enduro abuse. The WTB Trail Boss comes in a 27.5 and 29er versions. It comes in a 2.6 width and a 2.4 width. I chose the 29er tire with a 2.4 width and its casing is the light fast rolling and I chose it because number one WTB tires are usually known for being a little on the heavy side but more durable too. Next I chose this one because it is the lightest one that they make that has the sidewall protection and for the rear tire that's something you want. Now for Maxxis. I had the DHF Minion on here and I'm making a switch to a tire that I've been really wanting to try. Now balanced out equally you could flip a coin I like either the DHF or Magic Mary but the one I've been wanting to try it is the Maxxis Asagai. This tire was designed by Maxxis and UCI Downhill Champion and Downhill World Cup Champion Greg Menard. This tire was created to be the ultimate in downhill rolling speed with the ability to grip 
you into a corner like a roller coaster. Well, for Maxis, they use different casings as well. There is an EXO casing, and now there's EXO Plus, and then there is Double Down, and then there is Downhill. The tire I have here today is the EXO Plus casing. Will the bike be more composed when turning and more composed in steep descents? Does the tire roll fast, or is it very draggy when rolling? Is the rolling weight terribly impeding climbing on the trail? Is the traction in climbing much more noticeable? This I aim to find out as I test these two tires. Maxxis front, WTB in the back. Okay, so to get started with the front tire, the Maxxis Asagai has a scale weight of 1145 grams. For the rear tire, the WTB Trail Boss has a scale weight of 1111 grams. We're coming to test out the WTB Trail Boss and the Maxxis Asagai. 2.5 up front, 2.4 in the rear. Perfect place to test these out. And the trail boss is definitely biting in. As you can see, this climb here has been perfect test for the trail boss. All of this loose gravel rocks, it's perfect. So far, I've noticed about the Trail Boss that my back tire, man, it just grips. Trail Boss steps right in, takes charge. I just can't tell you enough about these tires, guys. You gotta go out and get you a pair. If you don't need a front tire, then go get the Trail Boss for the back. If you don't need a back tire, go get the Asagai for the front. That's a nice thing about the, the Asagai tires, those front knobs in the center to really give you that biting traction. And then those center knobs in the Trail Boss give you that same biting traction. So when you're braking, it gives you what you need exactly. So here's what I learned from both of these tires. Well, they're not light. However, there's not a whole lot of rolling resistance. One thing I've noticed is they're not draggy which means you don't seem to have your speed impeded by them. These two tires hook up really good in corners and those center knobs on both of them, they just really bite in when you're braking. That Trail Boss rear tire, it hooks up fantastic on the climbing. And I believe for me, this is the best climbing rear tire I have ever used, even over the Aggressor. It bites into everything. This is going to be my new go-to pairing of tires. I really love this setup. Not sure how long they're going to last. That's going to remain to be seen for me in the application that I'm going to be using them in. So yes, I would recommend these two tires. If you want to try something new, I think these two will refresh your bike into a new rig. So thank you for watching as we travel the narrow trail.